My name is Thomas Cantwell and I studied um, bakery, confectionery and cake decoration and it was a City and Gills uh, qualification and it was for two years. I graduated in 1992 so yes it is a long time ago um, but yeah it's very vivid still in my memory. Um, where I am now is um, I have gone through um, some catering experience my catering career has taken a bit of a, a U-turn where I'm doing something different now. Um, I joined a company called Cross Country Trains back um, in 1998 and I took on a position as onboard catering for Cross Country um, Trains. Um, and 20 years later I'm still with the company in the railways and I have been promoted a few times since then and I'm now a resource controller in the control room for Cross Country Trains Arriva. Um, I felt the course I did, did progress me. Um, I had come from Ireland and it was all new to me, living in England, living in Birmingham. It was such a different city um, with diverse cultures, etc. And for me, it was an adventure. And the course did help me in, I guess, discipline and structure which was really good, but I had been used to that before in a course I'd done in Ireland, but this was just an extension to that. And I feel that I still wanted to progress into some form of catering. And I think when I applied for onboard catering on the trains, I loved that. And I really had a flair for it. So I do believe it has had some context to me getting that job. I had a placement while I was at the College of Food, uh, as it was called back then and um, we, we got assigned different places and they assigned me, um, it was Bragg's Bakery back then which is now called Greg's as we know it and Bragg's Bakery was a huge um, site, I think it was one of their big sites in Allen Rock so because I lived in Saltley in Halls of Residence back then in St Peter's College which is no longer there for that purpose um, I went to Allen Rock Bakery and I spent time there and it was really good because the bakery appreciated I was doing bakery, confectionery and cake decoration. So I got to do all elements of it. Um, so I did like bakery, we had massive big mixing bowls you could actually fit us all into, it was massive. Got to do production line work where you're, you're actually um, creaming like eclairs on a production line. That was quite intense but it was good in a cold room so you had to wrap warm. And also you had the cake decoration, which was more quiet for environment, where you had to concentrate to do birthday cakes, wedding cakes. I was only let do birthday cakes because I was still a student, so I didn't want to mess up no wedding cakes. <laughs> the placements actually were discussed through slightly, and I do remember one of the people um, that helped me a lot, one of the ladies, and she was one of the cake decoration um, tutors back then. Um, I believe she may be still here now. And she was very supportive and she asked me, you know, what I would kind of want to do. And she actually asked for feedback afterwards. So she knew what the placement was like, should other students be assigned that place so that it was appropriate for them and stuff like that. The advice I would give to the students is when you come and do your course, just sit into it for a bit, see how you feel about it. But I think it's very important to be open to your tutors about how you are progressing and also what you're capable of and if you have any doubt whatsoever in the course you're doing, discuss it with a tutor because it may be that you want to do something similar or relative to the course, but not that specific course. Don't go through the course and not be sure of what you want to do because at the end of the day you want to um, improve your development and you want to get a career out of it, which is the main thing. And also a vocation. 